Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Caps Killer. So this is my old Alienware from 2018, uh, Alienware Aurora, and uh, nothing wrong with this computer. It has an i7 processor, you know, uh, 16 gigs of RAM. Um, it had a 1080 back then, but the problem is with this uh, pre-built case from Alienware, you're really limited on the space here. So uh, I barely fit uh 2060 super this is 2060 super which will do just a fine job for a dedicated streaming uh but if you want to put uh 3070 or 3080 you cannot uh because it's just it will not fit man it will not fit now the card that i had previously was the uh it was radeon 50th anniversary uh 5700 xt and this is 10 inches so anything that has 10 inches can fit on this Alienware. But anything above 10 inches, forget it. You will not be able to fit uh, any GPU. So just for the comparison, this is 3070 right here. And as you can see, this behemoth here, 3070, cannot fit in there. Simply cannot. Cannot go in there. It cannot fit. Yeah, even 3070 from PNY will not fit in there. I was able to barely, look barely touching the uh, touching the fans barely i was able to uh uh fit a zotac 2060 super so 2070 right here forget it uh it's not gonna it's not gonna fit okay but we will put 2080 i mean 3070 and 3080 what i can do is uh i can put 3080 on my uh Dell Inspiron, I can put it there. But anyway, just a short little video, just to let you know that um, on this old Alienware, forget it, you cannot do anything. This is why you shouldn't buy these pre-built Alienware uh, computers, because they're they're very limited for any upgrades. Uh, I would really stay away from Alienware. Period. I would just build your own computer, or go with the iBuy Power or Cyber Power. But uh, stay away from Alienware and Dell. You do not want to do that. Sure, Alienware makes great laptops, but that's about it, in my opinion. Um, yes, they got the new, newer version of... Here's the thing with the Alienware. They're all about cosmetics, and, and I don't really care about cosmetics. I care about, can I upgrade this in the future? So if you somebody who has uh, Alienware, like this one, well, guess what? Uh, you you cannot upgrade to the next generation. You're gonna have to sell this and um, build your own computer with a much bigger case. This is why I tell people I always think about getting a bigger case first, so I can think about the future upgrades. All right. So just a short little video to let you know about uh, what's going on here. Now this is a Zotac Gaming uh, 26 uh, 2060 Super. This is more than enough for me to, to run what I need to run on it. Um, so for uh, dedicated streaming uh, PC. So anyway, I was not able to put uh, 3070 or 3080 in here because it's too small. But I was able to squeeze in 2060 Super, and 2060 Super, it's more than enough for me to uh, use my Evermedia Capture to be a dedicated streaming uh, computer. However, I will also try it on my other computer, which is uh, Dell Inspiron, to see if I can fit 3080 in there. But uh, the best you can do on this Alienware it's uh 2060 super can you fit 2080 i don't um i was able actually to fit 2080 in here um it was not easy i was able to fit 2080 in here i think you can fit 2080 uh which is great uh so like 2060 2070 2080 you can fit any 20 uh series card but uh depending you know who the vendor is who the manufacturer is uh, it might be a bit of a hassle because this is very small you know this is very compact very small but hey putting 2060 or 2070 or 2080 in here it's still pretty darn good 
it's going to do a great job for uh, VR, it's going to do a great job for gaming at 1440p, and it's going to do an excellent job for uh, your capture card and streaming, because I want to use this as a streaming uh, dedicated uh, PC, so that way I can uh, have my uh, PC and a console connected to this thing. But hey, look, my 2060 Super found a new home, and the uh, Radeon is going to be going back to the box. This Radeon right here, 5700 XD. So that's it for the Alienware. At least we got 2060 Super in there, so that's good. Okay, so 2060 uh, Super got a new home on the Alienware, which will be perfect for my dedicated streaming. More than enough power to handle the uh, streaming and capture card that's in there, Avery Media. Let's go check out my uh, Dell Inspiron and see if we can fit 3070 or 3080. So, congratulations Alienware, you get an upgrade. You got 2060 Super. So here we got the Dell Inspiron, or Inspiron, whatever you want to call it, with a Ryzen 5. This is a bit bigger case, so I'm going to try to see if I can uh, squeeze a 3070 or 3080 inside. So let's see if I can do it. Let's open this uh, poor bastard out. Maybe we can give him an upgrade. Well, on this case, technically you could put 3070 and 3080 in here, but the problem with this one is, is the power supply. This power supply is just bad. It's only 142 watts. I mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, what the hell was Dell thinking putting a 142 watt power supply, man? This is crazy. So in order for me to use a 3070 and 3080 here, I will need to purchase a new power supply, like at least like 750 or 850, put it in here, and then I would be able to shove uh, 30, 3070 or 3080 in here. But uh, yeah, uh, there's no point of me uh, trying to install a 3070 or 3080 in this one because number one, um, the power supply, obviously, it's a no-go. Uh, once I get a power supply, uh, then I will be able to... What I can do with this computer is, uh, since there is enough space for me to put 10, 11, 12, 13 inches, I could put, technically I could put 3090 in here. It would be, a, uh, it would be a bit of a stretch, but I could put 3090 in here. But 3080 is just a sweet spot. But at the same time, I would need a power supply. Like I would need to get like EVGA power supply. And then change this, put the 3080 in here, and then also put a uh, Ryzen 7 uh, CPU or something in here, upgrade the CPU. So, uh, so yeah, this is, see, this is the issue with these pre-built computers. Now, this one here, you got a little extra space, so you can uh, go ahead and plug in what you need to plug in. But the cooling in this one, it's really bad. This this thing will get overheated very quickly. Uh, this is why you don't want to purchase these pre-built computers. This is why you want to, you know, build your own computer. And I always go for the case. The bigger the case, the better. So that way you have an extra space for the future. To, to... You want to build a PC that's future-proof with a, the biggest possible case uh, and the, the biggest possible power support.